Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. Today we're cleaning the lens cover uh, on my Rolly Lasermatic and pretty much any diode laser you have that should be roughly the same. Like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, uh, and let me know what you want to learn about when it comes to lasers. Okay, so uh, here we are at the module. And, uh, you know, of course, they're going to be different, uh, but they're basically the same. When you get started ready to clean this uh, lens, lens cover on, ah, first thing you're going to need to do is take off your cable. Now, most of you are going to have a cable more like this that probably tucks into the top or something. That's one thing I really like about the uh, Rolly Lasermatic. This cable is meant to be taken on and off, whereas a lot of them aren't. Uh, they're just basic, you know, cables that are meant to be left on most of the time. And, and with little tiny wires. Now, if you've got little tiny wires, like, say, these in the back, and you are plugging and unplugging them, and you're pulling those wires, at some point, they are going to break. And uh, even with these type of connectors, at some point they're going to break. Uh, so be super careful and maybe use uh, whatever you got to use to make it the most gentle way to remove this cable from your module. As you can see, this one's easy. You know, you got some thumb spot. It's easy to put on and off. Uh, so I can do this a hundred times without it likely breaking. Because every time that you take off, in, in fact here you can take off the air as well, every time you do that, you know, it is wear and tear. And so you're gonna wanna have one, just, you know, whatever laser you have, uh, take your time, be careful, because it only takes once, right? So I sing the praises of the Rolly Lasermatic, but you know, hey, there are some things about it that are more difficult than other lasers, whereas, see, I take this cable off, I take off the air. With a lot of uh, your modules, you could just loosen up the, uh, um, the module here and just pull it right out, and it will come right out. But with the Lasermatic, you cannot do that. You have four... As far as I can tell, even by the manual, you've got to take these four um, bolts off or uh, to remove the manual. I mean, to remove the uh, module. So I'm going to do that right now. You can see I've already loosened them up. I'll take that off and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, you can see I pulled out those four screws, not bolts, I guess. Um, and then I just put them back in because I don't want to take any chances of losing them. Uh, so you just have the module by itself now. You can see how dirty that is. And you can see even on the sides here and everywhere, because I've done a ton of work, but not only that, the thing that made it really dirty was actually doing the stamps. And uh, maybe that video came out just before this one. And it really... The stamps come out good, but boy, they do uh, make a mess. It's like little eraser pieces or something everywhere. So at least now we have the module by itself. I have never uh, cleaned this one before. I've only had it for, I guess, uh, less than a month. I put a lot of work on it. The, the things that it really made me think that I really need to take a look at this is not only doing all of this, uh, these... Uh, stamps with the rubber but also because I cut that three-quarter inch plywood and I had to get the module super close to the wood so that it would cut all the way through and uh, that really put a lot of smoke and heat right there at the tip and plus I've just done a ton of work I've made my crosses I've made everything so it's time to take a look at this and see how dirty it got and how to clean it. So next thing I'm going to do, and this is in the manual, of course, I'm going to take these off. Now, with the older model, it's a little more difficult, but with this new model, everything's fairly simple. And uh, there's just one little, yeah, 
So right now, I'm just gonna take these off and we'll go from there. If it's any different than that, I will let you know. Okay, yeah, just the four uh, screws. And then I put those to the side because I was not willing to, normally with screws, I would put them back in. But with this, in my experience from other lasers, you make one little small turn and you end up with one of those screws inside. And sometimes they could be a bit of a pain to get out. So I decided I just put those to the side because I'm going to be cleaning this out. If this was clean, I'd just leave the screws in here. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty nasty. I need to clean it up. This thing is uh, pretty dirty. Now, all I had to do was take out the four screws. The entire thing came out. If you have the older model, you have to unscrew it uh, so you can take off this uh, the air. But with this one, pretty simple. I'm going to give this a, a nice clean. And the lens cover. Wow, you can... I don't know if you can see. I'll try and get a picture with a, with a better light. But it's pretty dusty. So it was definitely a good time to clean this. Hopefully it will clean up okay. I do have a spare... Uh, I just wanted to let you know that Vintari, the channel, I'll leave a link in the description, he sells uh, lenses. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be the right one for this, but it looks like it. I will let you know later in the video. But for most lasers, uh, he does sell a kit so you can replace the lens cover. And it comes with like eight, six, I think six of them. So, and it works really well for my other lasers, so... There we go. So let's get to this just screws off on a, and for most all of your lasers. This is how it's going to work. The lens cover just comes right off. And after you do that, I would cover below it. Uh, so you don't get any see down inside here is your actual lens, which I'll try and give you a closer picture of. And that's where you really don't want anything. And this is your lens cover, which can get dirty because it's semi-easy to replace. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on real quick right now until I am prepared to, uh, you know, cover both and clean this one. But uh, that's basically how you do it. And then, of course, you're going to do the opposite, putting it back. So let's take this over to where there's more light and I got some... Uh, some, you know, I have glasses, some reading glasses, even though I may not need them. Just because it helps with the magnification so I can really see what I'm doing. I would definitely suggest that so you can get a real close look. And when you're cleaning it, make sure you don't scratch anything, yada, yada, yada. So let's head over there. All right, so I'm over at my desk. I have not cleaned this part out yet, but I have cleaned most of the module. Uh, I just wanted to get that done. So what I did is I got a camera cleaning quick kit. So got a little funness here, you know, a little liquid, some gloves, bunch of Q-tips, actually have a, yeah, and some lens paper. Everything comes in handy and then you're, you're just regular, uh, you know, wipe here. Uh, everything here comes in handy for something or other, and oh, I, and don't forget the brush. You know, brushing off, I like to brush off as much dust as possible before doing any wiping, so that you're not actually smearing dust on your lens cover. And once again, as I said, once you take this off, do something to just cover it up while you are cleaning the lens cover. So I'm going to set this aside, and then I'm going to cover that up. So I'm just going to use this uh, piece of paper. Just kind of keep everything from, anything from falling into it while I clean this. And now I'm going to try to get us some better pictures of how dirty this is, and then how it looks when we're done. And then you just put it back on. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dust it. And then I'm probably going to actually um, spray it. I'm going to put wipe that off with some of this. And uh, then I'm going to probably use a lens paper as my final thing. And that generally does it. 
So just trying to get it as cleaned off with the brush as you can or the blowing tool before you start wiping any dust. Hopefully most of that will be gone. So let's work on that now. And uh, by the way, it does look like this is the same type of lens from that you can get from uh, Vintari. I will have him uh, confirm that with me. And because uh, I do want you to be able to get extras, I'm sure they have them on the Rolly website. But for all you others with uh, typically your lens cover will look like this, but this little grommet here is usually on the inside. And when you get it from Ventari, it comes with a couple of these little grommets for different kinds of lasers that fit in here that hold that lens cover on. And then when you screw it, this basically, you know, keeps it from cracking it. So you don't screw it on too tight, of course, but this will keep it snug. So this design is a little bit different than the rest of the ones you're going to see, but it's pretty close. I'll try, you know, doing this for different lasers, of course, is interesting. So anything that I mess up or have notes on, I'll leave in the top comment. So you can go down there, make some comments and read the top comment to see if there's anything that needs to be added. All right. So this is really hard to do with one hand. So I haven't, I'm trying to show you the techniques, but, um, you can see how dirty this is. I Hopefully you can see it. Uh, I will take pictures of everything. But this is after blowing it and using this brush as best I could. Now, of course, most of the dirt is going to be on the outside. It sure, sure better be. And after just doing this with a little bit of liquid and... I've got it, I guess I would say it's about 90% clean, but it's not perfect. So I'm going to keep on just gently doing it with some lens paper and just a little bit of liquid. And again, hey, I don't pretend to be the expert. I'm sure there's a lot of great videos out there on how to do this in different, better ways. But this is the way that I've done it for, you know, the past few years now. And, uh, it hasn't caused me any problems. I haven't scratched any lens covers, you know, and I've been able to save all but one of them. I think it was the Ortur Laser Master 3. I just wasn't able to save that one because, well, if you've watched my videos on it, you understand. But uh, that should do it. And uh, I'll, I'll finish cleaning this off a little bit uh, and then put it all back together. All right, uh, so it was worked out really well. I am going to finish cleaning this laser cover and put it back on, which I, you know, hey, now it looks beautiful. It just makes me happy. So that all was a lot of fun. And remember, just take your time. All right, all finished looking beautiful. I just wanted to mention, this is great acrylic scratch cleaner, scratch remover, and polish. Not only does this work great on your laser, you can use this to remove. I use the fine scratch remover uh, to do the lenses on my car. You know, uh, they charge you a ton of money for that uh, defogger for your, your lights. And uh, just polish some of this sucker on there. And then I finish with the, the polish and it works great, but it also, <laughs> you do what it's meant for. Say you're cutting acrylic and you get some fine scratches on there. You can use this stuff to remove it. Also, for your case here, you know, it's really nice if you need to polish up some areas. Maybe you get some fine scratches here and there. All you got to do is uh, use the scratch remover or the polisher and uh, you should be good to go. I haven't had to do that yet, but I just wanted to show you. It's not sponsored or anything. I've just used this stuff for so long, and it's been so amazing. Every time I, I need it, there it is. <laughs> this this will last you for 10 years, I think. Anyhow, all done, looking good, ready to rock and roll. 
once again.